Howdy on friends. Welcome to our next Bhagavad Gita lesson. Let's start by settling into the body, checking it's relaxed, taking one slow deep breath. Harium Tatsa Om Shanti. This is episode number 106, entitled, Let's Get Unpersonal. And we're on the 51st verse of the second chapter. I'll read it to you. This is Krishna talking. Arjuna, when one gives up, clinging to the personal desires arising from the mind, and rests contented in the bliss of one's Atman, then that soul has indeed found steady wisdom. I want to focus today on this phrase, personal desires arising from the mind. In Sanskrit, it's uh, Kaman Manaha Katam. Please excuse my Sanskrit if you're a Sanskrit scholar. In our body, the individual soul should live for the purpose of supporting the whole organism. If the desires of the cell run counter to the interests of the organism, then both the cell and the organism suffer. Similarly, we should uh, align our desires so that they bring good to the whole. If we're going to cure the disease of spiritual alienation. In using this term, uh, Kaman Manaha Gatam, desires arising from the mind, Krishna is indicating that it's not necessary to try to force the elimination of all desires. The goal of life is not to cut us or ourselves off from the senses and become a rock. Wrestling with our desires and trying to make them tap the mat and say uncle can backfire on us and actually make the desires have more power over us. It's natural to desire a roof over our head in the winter. The desire to have the roof with a satellite dish on it that pulls in HBO Max, Showtime, ESPN, that could maybe be considered a desire of the mind. It's natural to want to eat. It could be a desire of the mind that our hunger can only be satisfied with eggplant parmesan, with a side order of fried zucchini that has a drizzle of truffle oil on it. Today I made myself a good lunch. I was really satisfied with it. Then I remembered that a friend had given me this box of Belgium chocolates. And then I remember another friend had given me a cookie that looked really good. So I ate both of them. And now I'm not feeling that great. There's no harm in wanting a satellite dish, wanting the eggplant parmesan, even with a drizzle of truffle oil, as long as that desire can be enjoyed before, during, and I say especially after you've enjoyed that. Someone who wants to find a life partner and someone who's utterly miserable without one are in two very different states of consciousness. For our homework assignment, uh, as you're walking around this week desiring this and that, notice which desires get the mind worked up or turn out to be not all that we made them out to be and which desires meet that before, during, and after criteria. Thanks for joining. See you soon. Om Shanti. Shanti. Shanti.